country has many people grappling with unresolved trauma. And Susan DeLemus, a state representative from New Hampshire, happens to be one of them. She was responding to pro choice demonstrators. They triggered her like you wouldn't believe. And so, since I don't think you'd believe it, I want to show you. Let's take a look. She mentioned how she murdered her own baby and she's referring to an abortion that she had in 1980. And so since she clearly regrets that decision, she's now projecting that onto everyone else and referring to people who just want women to have control over their own bodies as murderers. Now I have my own thoughts on this. I've taken deep breaths so I don't lose my mind. but. Before I get to my thoughts, Cenk, why don't you jump in? Yeah, so we see this in a lot of cases with the right wing. Mm-hmm. It's constant projection and it's their own issues that they can't deal with. And so then they put that hatred onto other people. So we've shown you countless Republicans and right wingers who turn out to be closeted. Some of them, by the way, not closeted in terms of sexuality, but they were child molesters like Dennis Hastert. Uh, and and others, and so and then they bottle that up, and then they project on others. Oh, you must. Oh, in fact, just yesterday we did a story about QAnon, the guys who started it, the Watkins family, and it turns out they were running uh, domain names with child porn in it. Okay, the mainstream Republican Party rallied around accused child molester Roy Moore in Alabama. Yeah, and like, so since the Roy Moores of the world are child molesters, they assume everyone else is. And so she is taking her issues. And and by the way, if she just left it to herself, we would actually have sympathy for her. She obviously needs counseling. She never got over it. And 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 that happens to some folks, right? And our hearts would go out to her. But instead, she projects that onto others and says, I now hate you. I'm now calling you a murderer for just trying to protect women's rights. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. And it, again, let me just note. Most women who decide to have an abortion do not regret the decision. In fact, when they're asked, how did it feel? Like, how do you feel after the procedure? Um, the vast majority of them respond with relief. Yeah, I saw a poll today, 95% do not regret the decision. So and we feel bad for the 5% who do, right. but that is their own personal issue. And they say, well, since I felt bad about it, I wanna make sure that you don't even have the right to make the decision that I made. Now, later on the same day that she confronted the dozens of demonstrators who triggered her so much, she released a statement saying, quote, anyone who's had an abortion or anyone who supports abortion in my eyes is a murderer or is pro abortion, pro death, pro ending the life of a baby. Just because it's legal, abortion doesn't mean that I did not kill another human being and that's my stance. That was what that that's. That was what the yelling was about. I raised my voice and tried to be loud to be heard by the chanting crowd. Okay, so you can't project your self hatred onto other people. Okay, you can't assume that your lived experience is the same or will be the same for everyone else. There are many women out there who might make the decision for other reasons that you made the decision for. There are people who have a different interpretation of when life begins. So since we're being super arbitrary, life begins with sperm. Sperm is life. So every time a dude wakes up with a wet dream, he has committed mass murder. You see how unhinged that sounds? Now, when I think of human life, I think of independent human life. I think about a person, a baby, an actual baby that's viable outside the womb. And those tend to be the children that your party neglects incessantly because you prioritize corporate donors and corporate interests over funding social programs that would actually help keep living, breathing human beings alive. We just went through and are currently going through, by the way, a pandemic that deals with a virus that's insanely contagious. I would know I got the virus or I got infected with coronavirus twice in like two months. Um, But anyway, I tell you all that because we hit the 1 million mark 
One million Americans died from coronavirus. That didn't need to be the case. There are other countries that handled it way better than we did. And it's the Republican Party, the party that this woman subscribes to, that went out of its way to turn coronavirus into a culture war issue, to turn wearing a mask into a culture war issue, to force children to go back to school, to force teachers to go back to school, even before there was a very a vaccine for it. I'm talking about before there was a vaccine for it. Premature openings of businesses because politicians, especially politicians in the Republican Party, were concerned about their stock portfolios. So you want to talk about human lives, you want to talk about murder, you want to talk about death. I'm I'm willing to have that conversation, but not in regard to an embryo or a zygote or or something that's within a woman's uterus that is not an independent life and is not viable outside the womb. Yeah, um, so her husband, by the way, is spending 87 months in prison because he was part of the Cliven Bundy guys who did uh, armed standoff against federal agents. So threatening to kill federal agents, not a big deal. But you know, having reproductive rights around a zygote, apparently a huge deal regarding life. So the hypocrisy never ends. But my last point is this, listen to what she's saying. She's saying, I made a choice and I don't like how that choice turned out. So I would like to take that choice away from you. Wait, what did your choice have to do with my choice? That's like I went to a football game in Miami, it rained all day. We had the worst seats in the house, I regretted it. So I now think none of you should be allowed to go to a football game. (laughs) That doesn't make any logical sense at all. Right. But they're the right wing, They, they just don't care about logic. They think whatever applies to me should apply to you. You know what that is, that's authoritarian. That is, that's authoritarian. But they'll turn around and they'll claim that you're an authoritarian if you think that, you know, let's say a company that you work at should have a vaccine mandate. So, you know, people don't get sick and die while they're working in close quarters. When it comes to that issue, my body, my choice, individual liberty, even though spreading the virus could actually kill living, breathing, independent human beings. But you know, that's just a inconvenient truth that they don't like to talk about. And instead love to talk about controlling women in their bodies.